Hello everybody, Don't Blink here again with another Battlefield 3 gameplay commentary for you guys. Nah, you just me carry owner, so just to carry owner and welcome to another Battlefield 3 gameplay with Crap Dog. I thought I could show you the loading screen and this is why it's at the beginning. Here you can see how laggy the servers are. Every time I hit the break it feels like I hit a wall or something like that. And this is that lag again. I didn't hit that jet, it was just my break. I mentioned this because jet is the fastest vehicle in this game and all tiny lags are very noticeable. Just imagine you shooting a guy in the face and there are no hit markers and now at 300 kilometers per hour to that. I have sweet connection so I know the problem is not on my side. In normal situation when I fly on afterburns and then I hit the brake, my jet doesn't shake at all. But when the server is lagging, you feel that hit and your screen starts to shake, which makes you unable to aim properly. Here's a short freeze frame where you can see the river, bridge and all the flags. I think I don't have to tell you that you should spot and to do that all the time but it is really important on this map because it's dark and you can easily lose your target so yeah spot and since I mentioned about spotting it's so frustrating when you try to spot a jet in front of you and instead of that you hear enemy sniper over Bijou Da! Vrajski sniper Prion I didn't even see them, fuck, I can't even see the marker, even though I just spot someone. What I'm trying to say is that I can spot everything around me, but not the freaking jet that I see in front of my screen. So I chase that guy, spamming the spot button, hoping that I finally be able to spot him. And instead of that I spot the whole goddamn team, except the jet of course. Okay, enough of that whining. Let's kill someone, shall we? Okay, kinda fail. I should be able to take him out over there. And this is where I lost him for a blink of an eye. But lucky for me, someone spot him and I was able to destroy him, even though the guy bailed. What I like in this map is that there is a scout helicopter on the same map with jet. For a PC player it is not something new because there are maps with that configuration. But for me it is new experience. Goodbye jet. And this is the part where I almost crashed on those trees. But uh, I was saved thanks to my reflex because now you have to keep in mind that even if you touch the top of the tree you're gonna die as for the trees I have a special bonus clip at the end of this video so stick around you might like it I was hoping for like a multi kill but oh well <laughs> I will have my chance sooner or later and I have no idea what this guy is thinking because I'm on his ass well I should take him out over there and he bail in the last second once again I'm scanning the area with my guided missile. I can see that guy. I wasn't sure what I was locking onto. I thought it could be a like a beacon or something. But my guess it was a quad bike. Oh this is quite cool scene. Night and a gunship burning flying towards the moon. You can see the helicopter on my radar. It's in their base and it's there for quite some time now 
So I thought, screw this, I'm gonna take out those children of the corn since they are goofing around in their base. I just want them to know that there is a Sauron's eye watching them so they are not safe even in their base. So even though I made few shots, the helicopter is still on the ground. So I'm just gonna turn around and do one more run. And there we go, the guy is dead, vehicle disabled. But the helicopter is still there with someone inside. My guess is that there is an engineer repairing it. Maybe they were trying to boost or something, I don't know. At this point he was my target number one. So I'm making another run. And here you can see the engineer repairing it. Unfortunately I wasn't able to take him out. I'm not talking about the helicopter but the engineer. Okay, this is where I lost him for a second. And headshot, oh yeah. This is what I like. Headshot with a jet. <laughs> and there we go, he's gone, finally. Okay, let's move to another part. This part starts with Child of the Corn. Yeah. He flew right into the gunship. That was really smart, dude. Big applause for you. Once again, I'm using Dildo the Almighty to scan the area. It not only looks better on the video than pod rockets, but it also very helpful against infantry. And this is what I was talking about earlier. I thought the helicopter is on the ground because I didn't see him. And since he engaged me, I will try to take him out. And looks like the enemy jet was able to take out the gunship. But since I can't see him, except the one on the runway, I will try to take out this helicopter. Unfortunately, I failed here. The other jet is getting close, so looks like I will have to deal with him first. Looks like he changed his mind, but I didn't, so I'm chasing him now. And this is the part where I fail. I'm shooting too much in front of the jet. This guy should be dead. But instead of that, he bail. And here comes his wingman, child of the corn, shooting empty jet. Not only it was empty, but it was his wingman's jet. I'm guessing the other guy was Rican, who will try to snipe from that building that looks almost the same. Oh, and this is really sweet shot. And goodbye. As for the building, it looks just like the one on Gulf of Oman. The guy that bay on top of that building don't know it yet, but I will be coming back for him. But for now, I will try to do other stuff. Because when you fly a jet, there is always something you can do. Sometimes people are surprised that I was able to end up on top of the scoreboard even though I was flying the jet all the time and I didn't capture even one flag but like I said before there is always something you can do when you fly a jet There are helicopters, cars, boats, tanks, other jets so yeah there is always something you can kill along with infantry of course just like over here, yeah, 
Once again I was able to take out the guy from the helicopter. But I will be coming back for the helicopter naturally. It's not like I will let it go. Goodbye the guy bail. But the helicopter was destroyed so I got some points for that. Meanwhile you can see the mountains in the background. So once again I'm scanning the area. There's the quad bike. And my fail. Got some hit markers on the guy. But at this point I'm afraid I won't be able to find him. Unless... Unless it's him. And goodbye. Yeah, only disable and vehicle destroy. I don't know, it feels that I'm aiming in the right place, but somehow I fail. But like I said, I'm having some lags. That might be the case. And this guy crashed. I'm not gonna follow because I knew he gonna die. I saw where he was flying and I also saw how high we were okay there's the helicopter and sound glitch or I don't know it's like my cannon was blocked Looks like that they finally fixed the dildo the almighty combine it with laser painter because finally it can lock to it so if I see the helicopter I can lock it with my dildo the almighty okay let's skip a few minutes Once again fail, wasn't able to take out that helicopter. There's the gunship. It's already on fire. So I thought, oh well, why not? Especially that there wasn't anyone chasing me. And this is where I could take out this helicopter with my dildo. The almighty, but unfortunately the guy with the stinger was faster. That was my first try locking the helicopter. I noticed that I was locking faster to the tank, so I decided to check out can I lock to the helicopter and turns out that I could. And this is how I noticed that it was finally fixed. Which is a good news of course. I don't know what this guy was thinking doing that move. But hey, I'm not complaining. I'm the one getting killed. Not killed, right? And once again, I have no idea what's the thing that I'm locking. So I decided that I'm gonna shoot anyway. And another child of the corn. Nice shot by the gunship. I did the same on the rush. I was in a gunship and I was able to take out the jet with the main cannon, which was quite epic. 
Unless the guy didn't kill him with the main cannon, then this sentence is irrelevant. It's where I see the jet along with the helicopter and since my wingman is chasing jet, I thought I could try to take out the helicopter. The helicopter is busy shooting the gunship, so he wasn't paying attention and now he's dead. So always be aware of your environment. Now I'm trying to shoot the tank but this cannon is not very effective against tanks. So I won't do major damage but if you shoot it with bolts or guided first and then you start shooting with your cannon there is a chance that you will kill him. So I'm scanning the area, checking my radar at the same time. And this is the lag when I hit the brake. You can see the jet jumps and you could hear the sound. Looks like the guy was able to bail in last second. So I didn't get the kill. And like I said, I am coming back for you. If you watched my previous armored kill videos, you probably noticed that I had the last kill in the game, like uh, just before the game ends. And of course, I couldn't resist. Also, I just wanted to show you the bridge on different perspective. It's not like it's an amazing stunt or something like that, but this will be a really sweet spot for cinematic videos, including jets and helicopters. 11 tickets to go, so I don't have a lot of time to get the kill. 9, 8, 7, so... Come on, come on, you can do it. Oh, and there's the lag. I hate it. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. So don't forget to hit the like, comment, maybe even add to favorites and subscribe if you're new. So see you next time.